In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use the iPhone as a remote controller for your Amazon Fire TV or Fire Stick. So the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and go to the App Store and search for Amazon Control. You're going to download this application here called Amazon Fire TV and you open the app. All right, when you first open the app, you're going to get a select a device to connect message. And then make sure you're on the wireless network that your Fire Stick is on. That way it automatically detects your Fire Stick or your Fire TV. As you can see, mine is already showing. So if I go ahead and press the one that I have, go ahead and press it. On the top, it's going to say connecting to your device. And then you go to your fire stick. And on the TV, it's going to give you a four digit code. So you put in that code when the application asks you for that code. Once you type in the code, you're going to get the same screen that I'm looking at. So if you're looking at the uh, fire stick right now, I'm going to move with the application. And the way this works is that center right there is like a touch section. So if you scroll, if you go from left to right, left to right, left to right, you basically move around as if you were tapping the buttons on the remote. And then you could go down. You could go again, again. You could even use Alexa. So if you press the microphone and you pull down to speak and you hold it, open Netflix. Open Netflix. There you go, it opened Netflix. If you want to go home, you just press the home button. And then you get the uh, play controllers there on the bottom. You get the back button. And then you get the little three bars there on the right side too. You can also get a keyboard and you can type in whatever you like. You can also click on the gear icon and then go to settings. And you open your settings and then you go down, right, right, right. And then you keep going until you want to select the menu that you want. To select the menu, basically you double tap on that square in the middle. And again, this application is free of charge, but if you lost your remote, maybe you order a new one or you don't have a replacement, you could use this application in the meantime to control your Fire TV or your Fire Stick. There's a lot of comments, a lot of reviews. People don't like it. People seem to have problems with it. I've used it for maybe a day or two until I get my replacement remote. But this works just fine. All right, so that's how you connect and pair the application with your Fire Stick. If you have any questions, any issues, leave your comment below. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.